Hello, my name is Rui Wildwood. I did the um, Ringlink internship program seven years ago. I work on a farm, um, but I also do subcontracting forest work. So, so currently I am on a farm, um, my girlfriend's farm, so I help out with her um, and the kind of day-to-day running of that. Um, it is an upland farm. Um, we've got about 600 head of sheep. We've got about 50 head of cattle at the moment. What I most got out of the um, pre-apprenticeship program with Ringlink um, was a good understanding and introduction into um, land-based education, learning, um, the industry because I was not originally from a forestry or farming background. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was interested in forestry um, and then I'd also had a bit of work experience at Glentana Estate and so I then found a land-based apprenticeship program which was in the area and now I have had a taster in both and I just, you know, I love being on the land and working the land, fencing, um, working with the sheep, the cattle or, you know, in the woods cutting trees. I did a placement as part of it and it was a placement at Glentana Estate. Estate works relatively similar to um, agricultural work, um, farming work. It's very varied. While on the, on the estate I was cutting trees, I was filling the biomass, I was fencing. Um, yeah, just a, a big range and different mix of things. When I finished the placement at, uh, with Ringlink, I still continued at um, Glentana for another, oh, it would have been about another four and a half years afterwards. Three years, I did um, a modern apprenticeship through the Scottish School of Forestry in Inverness. Um, again, furthering my um, forestry studies. So what attracts me to forestry? I think, to be honest, it's just, I like being outdoors, I like being in the woods. When I was younger, I used to love climbing trees. Um, and so I think it's just that, maybe the draw to being outside. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the enjoyment of, I don't know, driving tractors with winches on the back or, you know, using grapple loaders to load up the back of a trailer or using a chainsaw, you know, they're, they're all kind of big toys. And, you know, obviously they are skilled work as well. Um, and if you get good at it, you know, there's a career there. <laughs> Yeah, so the future is uh, very open. Obviously, there's lots of different directions that um, I can go. I mean, I've mentioned before how I've got chainsaw tickets and I've, you know, I've, I've tractor and everything, and I'm kind of getting into a bit, wee bit of digger work. So I'm wondering about maybe if that's a career choice for me, kind of a bit of contracting there. Um, but then equally, you know, got to focus on the farm, and we're in a period of transition. So, you know, do you focus on the farm more? Do you focus on your own career? A bit of both. Um, so yeah. A lot of a lot of choice and things to think about I think to get from being in school to working outdoors I would say just say yes to opportunities you know if someone's asking do you want to come and do a bit of work experience take them up on that offer because I think that's the best way first thing you need is experience you know it's maybe a bit uncomfortable and it's not what you're used to and it's people you don't know because I mean I came up from Cambridge at the age of 18 to an estate in Scotland, I didn't know anyone. I mean, my grandmother was in Stonehaven at the time, and that was, you know, that's about an hour's drive away or so, you know, so I was really quite isolated, but you kind of got to push yourself out of your comfort zone a wee bit to then, I think, just find what you enjoy doing career-wise, life-wise, you know, so that would be my advice, you know, say yes.